Hi, I'm John Napolitano with U.S. Wealth Management. We're on the floor of the New England Food Show, and my guest here, I know you're going to love this one, is Jackson Cannon from Eastern Standard and the Hawthorne. Welcome, Jackson. Thank you very much, John. Good to be here. So, uh, the Old Fashioned is a drink that is sounds pretty old-fashioned to me, yet it's really hot today, and today you're going to show us how to make one like a pro. Yeah, we're going to do one. Uh, the Old Fashioned has a very storied history, but we also think of it as kind of a process or sort of a base recipe that we can use for all kinds of creative things. Um, I guess uh, maybe making scrambled eggs for a chef in the <laughs> kitchen or, or how you cook an omelet might be a test. For us, an Old Fashioned is often a litmus test for basic technique. Um, we're going to do one with a fine cognac today, so a brandy Old Fashioned, maybe like they might like up in Wisconsin a little bit more than the rest of the country, but one that I really adore making. We're going to start with just a couple of sugar cubes and a tiny bit of water. You can use a little soda water or straight water. And this is one of those things, the drink making it is kind of sacramental in that way. Now you want to just break up the sugar just a little bit. There's a lot of different steps in this process, but if you get them all right, you'll arrive at a drink with lots of flavor and a great texture. Next I'm going to use two kinds of bittering agents. For it to be an old-fashioned, it has to have spirits, bitters, sugar, and water. A little bit of Angostura bitters. I like a little of the Peychaud's bitters from New Orleans as well. And again, we're just going to make sure that this forms a nice little paste. See how the sugar doesn't totally want to dissolve, but if we work it, we can make it happen. That right there is mouth-watering already, just seeing that little... The smell meat. of those second bitters was it's a very, pretty good. It's very complex. That's where this drink derives a lot of its nuance from. Now, two ounces of your finest spirit. You can use rye or bourbon if you like. Big fan of cognac. You can make a gin old fashioned if that's your thing. And now, again, we're just going to double check here. Alcohol and sugar don't want to mix, but I think we've done a pretty good job. All right, Let's two so. of those together. You want to try? No, sir. I would like sure to watch that? the pro. I'm yeah. better on the other side of the bar than okay. your side. We, uh, we all know how to sew a button. We should all know how to stir a cocktail. You can see here I'm just moving the, the ice around. Not a lot of action. Uh, what we're doing here is we're chilling down. We're incorporating water and all those ingredients together. We're doing it in a way that doesn't create uh, any excessive air bubbles or what have you that might impact the texture of this cocktail. This takes a minute. It's all right. It's sing worth the wait. Come along. Sing your favorite song. <laughs> it's worth the wait. Pete'll get us some really good tunes in here. I like the kind of sound of that. Do you have any kind of ice cubes that you prefer over others? Uh, you know, d good solid ice cubes. They sell molds that you can have at home. There's a couple of machines on the market um, that make uh, you know sort of a one by one solid cube, and that's that behaves really well for us in the bar room. So you don't want it cracking or no air bubbles in it. Yeah, uh, I mean we can you can make a fine drink on just about any kind of ice, but yeah, it's a little. A little easier to do it regularly uh, when you have a consistent product in your ice as well. Alright, here we go. Mm, nice color. Sort of see that pouring down like a ribbon. We're going to garnish with just a little bit of lemon. Nice little band of orange as well. Now well, we have your old fashioned, John. And is that the Jackson Cannon old fashioned? There you go, sir. Thank you. And if you go to Eastern Standard or the Hawthorne, you'll get to taste one for yourself. Thank you so much, Jackson. My pleasure. Thank you, John.